Good afternoon, I'm Chief Meteorologist Mark Prater. Just want to update you quickly on what's happening with the weather. We're about to go live and join Nate Harrington, who is uh, actually out in our CBS 42 weather alert unit. But there's a weather alert in effect until 8 o'clock tonight, and this is why. You can see a line of actually a very healthy squall line of thunderstorms now stretching from northern portions of Winston County back through southeast Marion and now into Lamar County. The all of the counties you see highlighted here in yellow, that is where we have a tornado watch that will last until six o'clock. But just to give you an idea, these storms are tracking towards the north and east while the individual line is moving northeast. And as we uh, move in a little bit closer on some of these, just to give you a little perspective of where they're headed, Hamilton, the show is over for you at this juncture. I just don't see that you're having to deal with much more in the way of severe storms. But near Winfield, a pretty healthy thunderstorm right now as well. And uh, at, um, at roughly uh, top of the hour, that line was just starting to make its way into northwest uh, Walker County as we see our live scan. And that just popped up a brand new severe thunderstorm warning near Caledonia, Mississippi, as it tracks towards the north and east. But individually, these storms are lined up together, but it's still a squall line. And this is the area that will likely see the best potential for any severe thunderstorms today. Mainly damaging straight line winds, but it's not out of the question to have a brief spin up tornado or two. We've been lucky so far. We haven't had to deal with that. Now let's go live to Nate Harrington, who is out in our weather alert unit. And uh, Nate, uh, right now, I mean, doesn't look too bad where you are. What can you tell us? All right, we're going to get back to Nate here. Hey, Mark, just uh, we are there driving now on uh, Interstate 22, headed back uh, toward uh, toward the east. Uh, we're trying to catch up to the storms that just moved through right now, moving through uh, Guin and Winfield and uh, the northern part of Fayette County. Uh, almost uh, caught up to them. Uh, we wanted to do this because uh, we were, weren't sure about the storms uh, to the north, that they were going to turn severe or not. So we wanted to make sure that uh, those to the north weren't going to be severe and have to go back and kind of chase our tail. But uh, right now, the strongest storms that we're following now, moving through the northern part of Fayette County, uh, these moving pretty quickly, like you said. Uh, those will be in uh, Walker County here, probably in the next uh, 20 to 25 minutes. And of course, we're going to keep on following these storms. Thankfully, not severe just yet, but uh, like we saw back in, uh, in Hamilton and Marion County, these storms can pack a punch. A lot of rainfall, a lot of heavy winds, strong winds. We saw a 25 to 30 mile an hour wind gust with this same line of storms that moved through uh, Hamilton just about a half an hour to 45 minutes ago. Uh, so we're going to continue to follow these uh, on uh, Interstate 22 uh, for the next half hour to 45 minutes and see where they end up. Live in the Weather Alert Unit, I'm Nate Harrington, CBS 42 News, local weather coverage you can count on. All right, thanks so much, Nate. And as he mentioned, these storms are tracking towards the east and southeast very quickly. So this area, if you live anywhere in the orange, certainly uh, have your not only your phone app, but also your weather radio available. And if any warnings are issued for your county, it would certainly give you an update immediately. And we'll be back on television to update you as well. So at this juncture, we are looking at a uh, pretty healthy line of storms that continues to track through our north and west counties. That will make its way into the Birmingham area roughly about 4 to 5 o'clock. So we'll have much more throughout the afternoon as needed. And again, we'll keep you posted live out in our weather alert unit as well as uh, the rest of the team here with me. And we will have much more throughout the afternoon. So we'll now go back to programming, which was already running in progress. And uh, that is for the show Jeopardy. And we will go back to programming and it will already be in progress. But we'll be back at the bottom of the hour. This has been a CBS 42 Storm Track Severe Weather Update.